Yes, let's teach marvelous moves to Evie. So sizzly slide and sparkly swirl. Yeah, sizzly slide. So you want me pay. to get rid of Gitsy, Glitzy Glow? And Payday. Get and rid payday. of Payday first. Like, I like the pay, Payday joke, but... You know, look at the price of the extra Joy-Cons, though. But you can actually use those extra Joy-Cons for other games on the Switch. You're not really limited there. The The Pokeball add-on is going to be about as useful as the Pokeballker was. What they should for allow is for this. you to make a custom system at some point. Because you know how there's all the different combinations? Or maybe they should allow you to buy single Joy-Cons of a color. Because, like, the yellow ones come in a pack of two. Yeah, it would be nice and if you could replace one. Because the... if, if one of these two ever wears out, we're going to have to buy two more. That'd be awkward. So, Sparkly Swirl? Yep. Ooh, wait. Okay. Wait. It's... You used the Pokeball in Mario Party. It was awful and I loved it. I... How? Huh? <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe if we end up moving out and uh, and actually go over to people's houses for uh, for Mario Party, I'll buy the Pokeball peripheral just to play Mario Party with, just to be an utter garbo. As an aspiring lawyer, I feel obligated to tell you that getting rid of Payday may cause a lot of upset. It's okay, I'm keeping Payday around, and I'm the one with the big bucks. <laughs> okay, so. Evie, I just want to maybe look at the moves, maybe rearrange them. Um, realistically, it goes ice, the ghost, best. fighting, dragon. So I would switch batty bat up. I keep bouncy bubble around just for the healing aspect. Oh, how do I re or reorder moves? Yes, yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd put batty bat on the second place. This is a very pleasing color scheme. I like I like having all of these next to one another. I still hold out hope they'll add the other regions somehow. Honestly, considering the success of this game, my bet is they're just going to make the Let's Go series just kind of the but remake series. I would love it if you can just take your character into the next game. And then, but then also have more customization options as opposed to start all over again. I, or they're going to start you all over again. Regardless. Yeah, I'd rather just start all over again, honestly. But the thing is, what Pokemon would they start you off with? Would it be Eevee and Pikachu again? It doesn't make Let's sense. Let's go Wooper. What? <laughs> I, well, if we're thinking Gen 2, it would probably be it, it, it Let's Go Meryl and Let's Go... Uh, oh, right, because they really liked Meryl. Or, actually, it could be a Let's Go fanf uh, Fanfi and a Let's Go uh, Teddy Ursa. Why Fanfi and Teddy Ursa? Because those were the, uh, those were the... No, people would do Togepi. Togepi and Meryl. Uh, oh. oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, well, I'd go Wooper. <laughs> yeah, it could be Let's Go Togepi. That's just weird. You'd have, like, a little... I don't like diaper Togepi baby that much. on your it head. It is a baby, essentially. It's, yeah. It's wearing its eggshell as a diaper. That'd be weird. <laughs> Let's go, muck. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I'd actually prefer it if it was just Let's Go. Like, they sold three versions Let's Go Totodile. Let's Go. Yeah. Togetic is OP. Yeah, but they also. Wouldn't let us evolve it unless they did. I'd be fine with it, honestly. Like I, I would love Let's Go Wooper if you could actually evolve it into. Is that the road? Yeah, it's mm. over here. If you could actually evolve it. Hmm. Huh? Why is the door locked? Open sesame. Uh, yeah, I guess this isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Shell. Sheesh, say something if you're standing there. Please, you're creeping me out. Yeah, I'm the silent protagonist. I'm not supposed to talk much. Watching me all. act all embarrassing like that? Well, never mind that. So how many gym ba badges you got these days? S seven? Then it looks like we're even. All that's left now is the Viridian City Gym. Same for you, right? This place is never open. 
It's because its leader is uh, none other than Giovanni Givune. of Team Rocket. Gavano. No one's really put two and two together, really? Like, don't you think the Pokemon League or the Pokemon uh, gym leaders would catch on and then... Or are we the only one that's seen Giovanni in person? <laughs> oh, I wonder. They, they would stage a huge Poke intervention and force him out. Like, who elects these gym leaders? It's like a corrupt politician. Get them out. Yeah. The old man's there's like, I have some Pokemon. I could be the gym leader. I'd put that Brock guy to shame with my infinite swarm of Oh, people magic. are suggesting that it be the, the pre-evolutions, like... Oh. Pichu and Pichu and Togepi? That'd be weird. That's a little too like babyish though for me. Uh I like I'm talking much... about how the pre jinx is actually really cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In a weird way. I want I want Let's Go Slowpoke and it's your character is just <laughs> like the cover artist of like dragging it along, being like, come on. Uh uh. I don't know. We'll we'll have to look through the Pokemon and see what ones we can choose. But I just remember that yeah, the first ones they had ever revealed were Meryl, Togepi, and Fanfi. Okay, so Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Centret, Hoot Hoot, Ladybug. But remember, they also don't want them Spinarak, to evolve. Spinarak, Crobat. Yeah. See, the problem is the baby Pokemon. Oh, Iggly Buff would, would be actually a little cute. Kind of, but I still little. think. Oh, remember Mary. that episode we saw for Marie? Yeah, we just randomly stumbled across Twitch Presents and Twitch it was Presents the Marie Pokemon episode. was having a Marie. All the Marie were essentially glomping onto Pikachu because they wanted his uh, electricity. Yeah. It was really. I love Marie. Marie. Uh, let's go. Marie would work. Marie and Meryl would actually be a decent combo. Let's I go, Marie. Let's go, Mar Marie. Meryl. Yeah, I probably would too. Let's go, Shuckle. Ooh, that'd be a fun one. Uh, of course, people would choose that. I like, I like Wooper. Wooper is cute. Let's go, Espeon and Umbreon. I mean, that would be fun. That would be fine. Oh, Mischievous would be cute, but it's sort of one of those peripheral Pokemon. That <laughs> Let's go, Mischievous. Let's go, Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's like super hard mode because he's what about so Trafferig? awkward. You wouldn't know which. Which side to pick? Giraffe rig's pretty good. Actually, isn't the tail its real head or something peculiar? E like, e or does it really just have two heads? <gasps> Dunsparce is one of my favorites. Oh, dude, Dunsparce let's go Dunsparce and so let's go Shuckle. <laughs> Dunsparce. Oh no, not Snubble. Not Snubble. I don't. I. I never liked. Oh Snubble. man, I I like Dunsparce and Shuckle. Though that would be great. <laughs> That would be a tough one to pick, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, Swinubs are cute, S too. Swinub is adorable. Uh, Corsola would actually but be But Dunsparce decent. would work because Dunsparce doesn't have an evolution. They wouldn't have to explain away why it doesn't have an yeah, evolution Yeah, I actually kind of preferred if they if they picked one of the, like, just pure solo evolution ones instead. Mm -hmm. uh, Smeargle actually wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> let's go Miltank. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. Hmm. I'm not. No. I'm not sure. Okay, we've looked through Why all of them. Why has Larvitar got this dumb picture on the Pokemon Go site? But Rather than the actual. Yeah, like they've got the official art for they literally have the every other Pokemon. With the exception one. of Larvitar, which is just some other random picture. That's confusing. All right. Well, enough with that. Someday I want a massive Dunsparce plush. Because aren't Dunsparces actually like four feet long? Uh, yeah, they're pretty big. <laughs> I mean, you could make one. I know, I should try. It'd be cute. It would be cute. Okay, I think I said, but this Watch place it is never Wha open. Huh? Watch oh. it be like body pillow size and you start sleeping with that every night. Cause Me? You you, oh yeah, because you I have can't to have... be you can't be without anything between your arms and your legs for some reason. I'm so he, sleeping he has with the like... sparse tonight. <laughs> Uh, okay, in any case. I, I already read this one. I guess we gotta tell someone that we haven't been able to get into the gym. But who should we talk to? <gasps> Evie! That old... <laughs> yeah, talk to Evie about it. <laughs> I like that old man there. But 
<laughs> you might as well go with Effie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Say it. Why would, Say I it. Mean, Say it. Evie has the ability to push boulders, <laughs> cut down you trees. You tell Evie and Evie just breaks a window. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> Evie is the master. Evie. Ava. 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 Yeah, that's right. Evie is just like. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Uh huh. Uh huh. Makes sense. If I could understand anything you said, this is getting us nowhere. <laughs> that old man there! Okay, sure. Oh, what? Me? I don't know anything about that. Uh, of course you wouldn't. Sorry about that. We'll think it over ourselves. I'm gonna go back to listlessly staring at this window. Alright, uh, fine. Professor O. I miss that piece of criminal meat. Dunking on fools and winning <laughs> gym challenges. Hey, you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Let's go see if he knows anything. Oh, I forgot my Professor Oak voice. Was it just kind of my semi-generic old man voice? Not really. You could also listen to a clip of actual sure, Professor Oak so that because people complained about you the very first episode. They're like, I have to skip the parts with Professor Oak because he just doesn't have the proper voice of uh, just like videos. Oh probably. yeah, videos. I always forget there's a videos tab here. People won't hear it, will they? No. Wait. That's not. That's damn not it. Professor Oak. Probably that, Ash versus Professor Oak should have it, right? Is this... Or is that a... Eh, whatever. Our internet's been kind of bad lately. Um... Oh, the tall grass? I mean, that has the actual voice actor. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look at what's coming up. <laughs> I, so, that, that's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. Okay. Oh, if it isn't Shell in a name. The funny thing is, I think that's the voice you've always used for him, practically. Yeah, it's pretty close. I don't know, whatever. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. Uh, what is his name now? <laughs> Wow. It's referencing they how you there. actually get they to name did it. him. They actually did it. Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. Would you give it a break? And besides, we already met. My own grandson. Oh, you're no fun. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. A name! Shell! You two did awesome. He huh? said our name's out of order. Yeah. Also, unfortunately, my grandmother always mixes my name with my cousin's name unless she's uh, sometimes even when I'm standing right next to her and it's sort of sad I go oh no I'm not Emma I'm Michelle well it's more of I think she gives how great Emma would it my be name. if we could actually rename blue like right then and there that would have been terrible <laughs> that'd be really good huh with team rocket I never thought their boss would actually be holed up there at Silphco. And you, the two of you, managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. She'll beat Giovanni all by herself. All I did was help out a bit. So what? You and your Pokemon did your best, too. Right a name? So I got a little something for you two, as a reward for your hard work. You got a Keystone from Blue. Also, one thing I want to point out. Why would you name your kid Blue... My and name is Oak. My wife's name is Bull. <laughs> we named our son Juniper and Cher. And 
for some reason, when we named our kid Blue, the neighbors across the street immediately <laughs> named their kid Red. It's a problem. <laughs> it was just a fad where people name their kids after colors. It's it's tradition in the in the Kanto region. You you name it after the first thing Palette. you see after birth. <laughs> Usually, husbands are supposed to you know wave something in front of the wife's face, but sometimes it gets a little weird. <laughs> Wonder, really? So, one thing I never liked about these names that are after, say, animals, objects, colors, and stuff is, what if the kid grows up to dislike that thing? Like, what if Blue was like, no, I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, and I will only wear yellow. And then everyone's saying blue, 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 and then... Hello, my name is Dr. Scalpel. I'm named after. Well, I bet you can guess it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm very good at my job. And boy, do I love scalpels. <laughs> uh, you put the keystone in your battle pocket. Oh, isn't that a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution that transcends all other evolutions. Mega evolution. Wait, really? Mega evolution? What's that? If you have both a keystone and the right mega stone, you can make a Pokemon mega evolve in battle. Just one time per battle, though. And your Pokemon will get powered up to battle extra hard for you. Mega evolution is proof that strong of the strong bond between Pokemon and its trainer. Ahem. A brief poem, if I may. When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we mega evolve. <laughs> Gramps, that sucked. The two of you should be able to use these as well. These are mega stones. You got Venusaurite, Charizardite, Charizardite X, and Charizardite Y, and Blastoisenite. You're gonna take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Give those a try when you do. Cool. You're under arrest, Professor Oak. That was awful. Oh, what are you doing back here in Pallet Town? What? Viridian City's gym leader's never at the gym. Huh, that's odd. Maybe I'll go take a look myself. You two are so close to the Pokemon League now. Just one last push. I'm not giving birth, Professor Oak, for goodness sake. It's okay. Sake. It's fine. I've got a PC here name. It's, it'll be great for your kid. Alternatively, Chair. You can name it after my son. <laughs> there are Pokeballs in the mysterious machine. Oh, well. When in doubt, I've also got this trigger-happy ditto. It turns into literally huh? anything. Uh, Eva. Eva. I, I think that's what he sounds like. I don't know. It's really hard to do the Eva. Oh, if it isn't Evie, you want to know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I'm going to make a bouquet for someone very important. <gasps> but it's a secret. You won't tell anyone. Right, Shell? Oh, that's right. Um, the Viridian City gym leader came back to the gym la at last. That's what people are saying. You should head off to Viridian City. Uh, tw what? We Hold just... up. What? What was that cutscene? To tell us that he's back. Nine Tails is staring at your face. What, what was that cutscene? <laughs> what was any of that? Should... Why did the child just be like, I'm picking flowers for someone. Don't tell anyone. Also, the Viridian City gym leader's back. Which I conveniently know because I'm a magic little girl, question mark. Unless she's actually Giovanni's daughter. Like, I would have loved Cousin, that. Nephew, niece. Uh, uh, uh? If anything, Gary or Oak should have provided that information. Yeah. Like, why is it this random little girl outside? 
Oh, it just looks like Th you're having fun on your journey. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I, I thought that in the other games, you would actually give her updates on, like, what gym I don't you just think defeated so. and stuff. I don't remember. Hey, Shell. Would you like to know how much your Pokemon like you? Sure. Heavy. Evie really, really, really loves you. I can tell you really trust each other. Of course, Evie loves me. So why is her mother so tan again? It's so that sh they only had to make one character model so they wouldn't have to match the skin tone. Yeah, because they I'm... have, I think, four skin tones. So very pale, yeah, so somewhat by, tan. By and... putting the mother directly in the middle, you can just bypass having to match them. They did that in... um. One of the more recent games, too, didn't they? Uh, I believe they did it in Sun and Moon? Yeah, Sun and Moon they had. Your mother was fairly tan, too. Ninetales found something in the plants. It's a raspberry. Thank you, Ninetales. All of the berries that we've never bothered to grab or go back for. All right. Yeah, but poor Oddish does not seem like it's meant to keep up with me. Now, we're going to be facing a lot of fighting types, right? Is ground. there anyone? Ground, it's, ground, sorry. It's I, ground I keep, types. I keep mixing uh, them up. Do you, you want to bring anyone else along? want to give me... No, actually, don't don't switch me out. Okay. Right, you should be fine. Mainly because nothing's going to live long enough. Well, don't you want to have someone better equipped to fighting ground? Uh, Is he's gonna have poison. Ground? He's gonna have poison types. Oh, poison. Yeah. Oh, so you're gonna use psychic anyway. And I gave up my psychic move. Oh. Yo, champ of the making! Even I don't know who the Verdian City Gym Leader is. But one thing's certain, you're qualified to challenge the Gym Leader, because you have seven badges. This Gym Leader will be stronger than any other trainers you've ever faced. Also, I heard the trainers here are users of ground-type Pokémon. Also, Wait, Evie, was there Evie's, yeah. Evie's wagging their tail? It's probably right in front of the statue. Oh, no, there's an item right there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but there are items. Oh, I see. We're going to have to Aha! go around. Ha-ha! Well, <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to be able to, though. I'll have to go through everything. Hmm. I wonder what we've seen this technology before. Hmm? Mm-hmm. A total mystery. You might as well battle this guy. Your Pokemon will cower the crack of my whip. <gasps> You're mean. You're a vile circus master, sir. You don't... You don't intimidate Pokemon with whips. You know how hilarious it would be if they actually just had, like, notable members of Team Rocket that we'd face in the past dressed up as other people? But so this was, like, Jesse okay. and then James. Actually, that begs the question. How are gym leaders selected? It seems to be part of a... I don't know if they've ever mentioned it. I mean, there's, like, the Pokemon League regulations and some other stuff, but... Because I know that there are Pokemon gym leaders that step down sure. because they want to go on vacation and other things, and then they elect a protege or someone to take their place, I right? mean, it seems like a garbage system that only works just because <laughs> nobody cares enough to actually, like, buck against it. Ooh, should I use this? Sure. Shaky, 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 shaky. There we go. How gross do you think that guy's lollipop is by this point? Ew. Yeah, the fact that he has it out constantly. Yeah. It's collecting dust. <laughs> oh. Aha! But then what do, what do I attack? Did you waste my the special traitor. attack? That's what you attack. You wreck him. Oh. Okay, so apparently gym leaders are selected by the current champion of the Elite Four. If a retiring leader doesn't select a repl Wait, but isn't isn't the champion of the Elite Four kind of a meritocracy? Like, just whomever beats the Elite Four... Becomes the, the new leader. Wait, so could you, like, do some pretty horrid nonsense with that? Well, I think the lo person on the lowest rung gets booted out, right? No, 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 no. No, the champion becomes the the person at the end. But that still means you force someone out. Well, yeah. They you, wouldn't be the Elite no, Four anymore. No, no, no. You force out the previous champion. You just force out the, the previous champion. The Elite Four champion. is a static... 
uh, is a static group that doesn't change. Oh, okay. The champions are the ones that constantly replace each other. But isn't the funny thing that in one of the later games, one of the gym leaders ended up being in the Elite Four? Uh, I don't It must have know. been in Silver. Can you look up the gym leader, uh, the Elite Four, the gym leaders for Silver or in Gold? Sure. Because I swear that some of them had replaced each other. <gasps> Ad what? Adish is evolving. Yeah, see, Koga. Koga ended up in the Elite Four. Well, 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 Koga was always... No, no, no. Because his daughter became the... His daughter became the new... Yeah. So it's not that he got forced out and he didn't do double time. He just switched up because for some reason the ghost lady needed to go. Yeah, Agatha. Oh, because Agatha died. Or was, like, related to Team Rocket or something? We'll have to look into the lore of that. But I just remember that some of the gym leaders ended up going to the Elite Four. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna talk for him. Her ab absence is never explained. Gotcha. The Viridian City Gym was closed for a long time, but now our gym leader's back. We've been trapped in this building for years. <laughs> Have you ever had to eat an onyx? No? Well, uh. I envy you. Oh yeah, there's an Idol King. Idol King looks weird in this. I thought his head was longer? Uh... Maybe? Yeah, look at how stubby that is. Maybe? A little yeah. weird. Yeah. So what should I use? Because he's... Is he still brown? He's poison type. Poison? No, poison. Mm. So it doesn't matter. Just pick whatever. No, yeah. Fairy was bad against poison. Maybe I'll just use Sizzly Slide. You'll be able to knock him out. Pretty much. Yeah, I think he did have a longer face. How much longer? A little longer. And he's done. I mean, we do have a straight up like 10 level advantage on these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's a 16 level advantage. I was beaten. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna go. We this might as way. well just. Oh, hey! Uh. Oddish Evolved. Yeah, so we, we can, should we we can replace him. Yeah, let's, let's boot. Well, actually, go back, go back. Yeah. Go to the bag. Do we have a spare leaf stone? Oh yeah, we do. I well no, I don't think we do. Oh, okay, was we used we gave, it on We used the only one on Victor. Okay, Bell. switch it switch it out with something else. Uh Okay, who do we want to level up? Wanna grab the shelter? Because I bet that'll evolve real quick. Shelter needs a water stone. Oh, is it? Yeah, I okay. believe so. Uh I mean, do you <sighs> think? I thought that shelter required a water stone. Yep, Waterstone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I mean, we can slowly level up our own Nidorinos and No, stuff. but you have to Moonstone those, Moonstone, and we don't have any of those. right. The Moonstones. Uh, go down? Cause yeah, because we already got have... Ghastlies and Haunters. We already have Electrode and Tentacool and Tentacruel. Drowsy evolves into Hypno at, like, level 40-something, don't they? Uh, I don't think it was that high. I think it was high. Drowsy. Evolves at 26. 26? Yeah, grab him. Okay. That's not much. That'll be quick. And honestly, let's just go up. Mm -hmm. Straight up is not a whole lot of reason for us to face every trainer here. A truly strong trainer wins with style. Like, the EXP we're getting from these trainers is so negligible at this point. Mm -hmm. I guess it's useful for training up our, like, B-listers, but our main two are just, uh... Man. If I straight up only ever used, like, three Pokemon this entire game, 
I think you've only used Charizard, Raichu, and... I've barely even used... Okay, Very so briefly, Bellsprout. I, yeah, Bellsprout... Bellsprout's P uh, Racketeer, so Pikachu. Pikachu. Charmeleon... Okay, so I've I've used five. You <laughs> think you I mean, used then again, two. I've I've used Evie for the most part, and I did use Ninetales, the Alolan Ninetales for the Grass Gym. You get Grass Gym. It is a little weird that Nido Queen has boobs. Yep. Yep. Do you think they're like hard? I lost my grip. I think they're I hope hard. So. I think they're like armor. Be weird if they're fleshy. They look fleshy, which makes me uncomfortable. Ah, I see you have to work your way around to get to that creepy doorway. Heh, you must be running out of steam by now. You two feet of fighting these trainers feels like seal clubbing. It's never been <laughs> hard. This game has never been challenging. These poor fools have no idea who they're challenging. I really wish this actually had the earthbound system where things are just straight up run from you in fear. Mm, mm hmm. But remember, these trainers don't know. Completely oblivious. They they just challenge anyone that waltzes in. It's true. But after a certain point, like I I almost kinda wish you'd like pick up a reputation, so if you're a trainer that just like skunks everybody that you run into without, like... The undefeated. Yeah, even taking damage, they actually refer to you as such. Like, how great would it be if there was actually a, a low-key uh, reputation system in these games? <laughs> we are also cheating. That is the other thing. How so? I mean, it's heavy. a 2v1. Oh, yeah. The 2v1 as well. <laughs> they really should have had it that... Trainers have... I don't want to say double the number of Pokemon if they're facing... Well, yeah, I, I feel like co-op mode, I, almost at the beginning, you could... I, I I hope if they make another one of these that they make the co-op mode deeper. So that, say, if I had the opposite game, I could just bring my team over. And, mm -hmm. and you know, associated loathing. I ran out of gas. Well, my thing is... Most of the trainers we ever face only have two or three Pokemon to their name, and it's, that's just not... It's real easy? Yeah, yeah, it would be really nice if there was, like, an option you could turn on that would scale the trainers up a little bit. Alright, so let's go up let's this go way to the this right. time. Yeah. And this time we want to go to this Down. left one. Yeah. Oh. But I go this way, blue. Yeah. And that goes to you, and then these two. Yeah, you might as well fight both of them. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Cacophony of screams? I don't know how Music they to make... my ears. <laughs> my horrible, sadistic Team Rocket. I mean, regular trainer ears. It is a little weird that the final gym is a ground gym. I'm sad that we never got to see the Alolan Sand True Sand Slash. Yeah, unfortunately we need... Uh, we need the, the other version. Yeah. I mean, realistically, realistically, if I wanted to go out of my way for it, I could probably find somebody that would be willing to throw one at us. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, well, I... Well, I like my nine tails. Yeah. And just, technically, you could catch a... Well, you you could only catch a normal Sand Shrew. Yeah, and we wouldn't have anybody to trade, uh, Wait, trade with in-game. Wait, did Bouncy Bubble miss? No, he used Protect. He used Protect. It's, what, it's one of those moves that's probably way more useful if they were using... If they knew you were going to use, like, Solar Beam or Hyper Beam. Mm. But no, it's just like, I'm just going to be invincible for a round just to annoy you. I don't know. They only delay the inevitable. But yeah, I, I sincerely hope they make another Let's Go blank game. I 
That's you could grind for some Alolan Sandshrews and try and send you one. That would be nice, yeah. We could do a switch. Meditate? Or nah. not. Nah. He's doing the whole you're in perfect harmony. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm looking forward to Temtem, because it seems like at least a number of the combos are going to be kind of fun. I'm the Karate King! Your fate rests with me! Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to watch Fist in the North Star at some point. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just not into big burly men. I'm not either. Each other. I think the sto show looks real stupid. But like, I was watching clips of it earlier, and like, it was magic stupid as opposed to like just big burly men. Like, it feels like if somebody took Mad Max but replaced him with, like, a ridiculous martial artist and then crammed as much, like, goofy anime nonsense as possible into it. Like, straight up, uh, I was watching clips of, like, death scenes. And there was mm -hmm. one guy who was, like, holding a, a possibly dead woman in his arms. Yeah. Like, climb into a volcano so he could be turned into a statue for all of eternity. With her? Yeah. Uh, that's and not it, how it works. Yeah, and then it showed, like... The main cast staring at, at him like somberly, almost like sadly, ay uh, And like lava's like spewing out like hot rocks and stuff, and the main character catches like a literal molten rock and it's like sizzling in his hands. And you can <laughs> see him like kind of tear in his eyes, being like, farewell. And I'm just like, okay, I kind of want to see this now, just to understand. And really? This is. Oh, and you have Drowsy following you? Do you want me to get someone else for you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take me seriously now, can you? Oh, look, and he has a bunch of berries next to him, and his his screen with the plots. Look at look at the um the rug, the intricacy of these designs. It just exudes evil. I I think we burnt down his home, and this is the only place where he lives now. So like, we've just invaded his bachelor pad. Look, he even has the, the cat like the ironclad windows, and his red flowers. Red. It symbolizes my passion for bloodshed. Ooh, I'm out of Giovanni. a job. You destroyed my organization, so I guess now I got to do the fallback thing of being the best gym leader in Kanto. Ugh. Arr. 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 I mean, it kind of spoke for itself. Yep. Alright, you wanna you wanna beat him? Yes. Sort of just staring You'll at him. Finally approach him. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you found me again. So be it. This time. I'm not holding back. He has realized the instant we beat him, we're probably going to report him to the authorities. I really wish we had that, like, the credits scene. It's just him finally getting crammed into into a police blastoise. <laughs> what do you mean by... There's no cars in this universe. Do they they wear... got rid of bicycles. Do they wear cages on their back? Sure, why not? Like, that's what a police I don't know, is? why not? <laughs> it's not like there's any places for, like, cars or trucks. Mm-mm. Once more, then, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest traitor. Uh, uh we beat him twice now. Yeah, he got smacked I, around every I, time, dude, man. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Drag well, <no>. cage cart. <laughs> You're challenged by gym pulled leader by Giovanni. Pulled pull by a uh, a Snorlax for extra embarrassment. You know that you that. The trio's ruining your perfectly laid tile floor. I don't care, the Pokemon League pays for it. <laughs> I... This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Earthquake? Oh no! Ow. Ouch.
Yeah, the problem is Doug Trio is slightly faster than Evie is. So. Okay, we, Raichu is floating. Yeah, yeah I know. doesn't matter in this game, though. Because Earthquake doesn't affect those that are flying in the air, I don't know correct? if Alolan Raichu knows Levitate or if it's just a visual thing. Now, should we heal you up and then you can use Psychic? Nah. Or, I guess, honestly, yeah, I guess you could heal. Because you're not even going to get an action on this one. Probably not. So just chuck super a Super Potion. potion. And I use Helping Hand! Haha! -ha! Yeah. <laughs> Might be the most useless thing ever. Whee! It's super effective. I. <laughs> I... <laughs> I just. I don't know. I remember. Back in the day, right all of these on. fights being hard and like being legitimately challenged by Pokemon. And I'm sure they've changed things around a little bit since then. But like, who boy, this game is easy. I would really love it if they had trainers that had a mixture. I suppose that's what your rival was supposed to be. Yeah, except for we've only fought him like twice. And like, he doesn't have a good mix of no. Pokemon. And they don't scale up with you either. No. It's annoying. Like, a number of people have suggested Pokemon fan games to us, specifically, and I wouldn't mind doing it. Problem is, the lack mm. of co-op kind of hurts. Mm. And it doesn't matter. I just used Sisley Slide. Oh, Nido Queen is cute. The, the boob things are weird. Yeah, it's it's just got like a weird like flesh bikini. It's odd. I don't like it. I gotta say, I like how the arena you fight in changes depending on where you are. Yeah, I do like that. It, it does help with the immersion. Isn't that funny? He didn't even really get to land a move, did he? He hit us with Earthquake once. Earthquake once. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crappy. He's so weak! <sighs> that fight was truly intense. <laughs> really? <laughs> Notice he didn't even use Persian. Yet again, I am defeated. As proof of your victory, here is your Earth Batch. Yeah. You got an Earth Badge from Giovanni. Given. An Earth Badge makes all Pokémon obey you, regardless of how high their level is, or who originally caught them. It is proof of your master as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokémon League. And this TM. A gift for a trainer who dares take on the challenge of the Pokémon League. You got Earthquake from Giovanni. Uh, contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. I made it a very long time ago. Back when I ran this gym. Far too long ago. Yeah, why did you resort to a life of crime then, huh? Look, I have this badge that lets me control all Pokemon. You think I'm not going to abuse that? Ha! <laughs> I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Life of shame it is. <laughs> Team Rocket is... As of today, Team Rocket is finished. Can you imagine that? He's been concocting this organization, has hundreds of members, has been... And then we just beat the snot out of him three times. He's like, well, this is over. Time to go back and, I don't know, pursue a life of sitting in this chair forever eating grapes. They look like blueberries and raspberries, Great berries. I but mean, they're a massive scale. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. Does he show back up again? 
actually? Because he's not in... Is he in Gen 2? No, I don't think so. Evie is gazing happily at your sparkly new gym badge! And so, we have deposed Giovanni. Yes, we have. He was so demoralized by our strength. It was mostly right, you. But you were there. Yes, you were. You were there to defeat all comers. Now Team Rocket's no more! Woo! -hoo -hoo. I still wonder what Jesse and James... What if we meet them in the cave? And they're like, We're going to stop you, Brett! And we're gonna be like, Um, I beat your leader, and he gave up. He realized that, for all his strength, he actually wasn't the very best. Huh. And he, is, he, hmm? he is actually in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Huh, interesting. Yeah, but no, he straight up doesn't even show up in Gen 2. He just completely gave up on his aspirations because he was beaten by a kid! A kid! In truth, it is because you will rule the world, Evie. Everyone will know peace and happiness. And enjoy your VV giggles. That's right. That's right. <laughs>